Let it continue playing Advanced Wars. When we last left off. Grit. Howdy, Sonya. How are you all doing? I finally got a foe by the tail. I need you to convey some intel to Andy and his friends. And what are you going to be doing in the meanwhile, darling? I need to survey the situation. Don't worry. I won't do anything foolish. Father warned me to take care. You wouldn't be trying to pull the wool over my eyes, would you? Of course not. You'll go, won't you? Well, I reckon I have to. Stay put now. I'll be right back. It's always been more useful than me. And thus, we face off against a mystery foe. And we're going to be using Andy again. Because, on balance, we kind of need Andy here. Repair is a very useful ability against um, who we're about to face. And also... It's better than worrying about um, indirect fire units and things. This gives us some options, and Enigma. So, penultimate mission. We begin day one. Who's that? I guess that's our mystery foe. We beat him. Do you think our, my clone will vanish too? Yep, I don't think there's any doubt about it. We're counting on you, Shin. So, as you can see, there is a massive army here. This is a war. They have things to build, they have things they can capture in order to get more things to build, and dominance is pretty much going to be determined by who can claim this middle ground. We need it. If we don't get it, we're going to have some problems. So the first thing we're going to be doing is checking subranges, and the second thing we're going to be doing is, yeah, I say, his bombers are well back. Are there actually any airports on this? I don't see any. Oh no, there's one airport there. Okay. So we might need to go and grab that, actually. Um, in the meantime... Load that and that, and you are going to deploy... Yeah, infantry there. That there. I probably should have just stuck with two infantry now, actually, because I've got to unpack you as well. But the APC could be useful there later, actually. Your next job. Go down there. Uh, I'm going to put you there, actually. That should all be fine. Uh, I've got one more unit I could realistically use. One thing I've got to do quite soon is deal with that battleship. So that's the next objective, majorly. Next you head down. We're going to defend this little area here, because that's where the rockets and things are going to start coming from. Anti-air down there as well. Actually, I know I've just wasted some fuel there, but that's fine. We'll live. You down to there. You along to there, and you're going to stay there for now. Right, no building on turn one, because we want to save up some money. Now, Sturm has a different ability in multiplayer, but um, it's not relevant here, so I won't talk about it um, any further. But in this, in the single player campaign, he has a strength and defense boost. And you see, we're already in sort of a losing battle for this first territory. So, down goes the tank. Down goes you. Down goes the anti air. Mid tank descends and finally rocket descends. Okay. So, first thing you probably need to take, actually, more importantly than um, taking the port, is taking this. Next up, you are going to deploy. You're going to deploy there and it gives us the option next turn. You are going to pick up you for later. And you are going to debate. We might actually be able to pull the other infantry away from that base by doing that. Now just quickly check the ranges, that's fine and fine. And we're going to move you back there just in case we do want you later for, um, for anything else. Next move I believe, based on what we can see, is going to be a backup mid tank. So I consider that well saved. 
next up, you're going to deploy there, and you'll be in range of the battleship next turn. True, he's got two subs, which will probably negate anything we do, but it's better than nothing, I guess. In turn, then. Yeah, I didn't think he'd be distracted too much from that. And I think that bomber's out of range, depressingly. She's going to present a problem, I think. Battleship advances. Right, we're going to take the dock then. Just to give us some more options, we can now build out of that. We can now build out of this. And now we can debate things. Um, I pretty much can't punch through you in one turn. And you're probably going to be able to do significant damage, whatever I do with you here. So, let's deploy you for safety. I should have moved you down a little space, actually. That would have probably been more useful. <sighs> Darn it. We would be out of range. Alright, I've got no choice. I don't want them to have that. So that's fine. It'll be out of missile range, but we'll live, I think. You've pretty much got to stay there if you want to keep that alive. Oh, this is actually a bit of a problem. I might have to sacrifice a mid-tank in order to get that killed. And I was also considering destroying that outright, but... Fine, that can get to that. The lander... Can drop you off. And we'll do a lot of damage to your sub. Yeah, sub. To your battleship. Right, so now we nearly equal up on the territory front. Um, you've got to stay there, you've got to stay there. Let's build another anti air. fine. That's fine as well, actually. We don't care too much about um, that port. And up he goes. In fact, up they go, which is surprising. Yep. That's all expected. I'm going to lose that mid-tank. But that neatly puts a missile unit within range of his back. That's a little evil, but fine. You're supposed to be evil. You're the big bad. I can't. I shouldn't complain at that. Right. I do like Stern's music. And da. Uh, that's a. Sh we don't really want to lose that lander, actually, but we have. No. Oh, well, that means I've got to keep my. Um, Fighters actually that now they're a problem really, isn't it? Huh. Okay. Well first thing we need the power boost, so let's go and have a power boost. Second thing, let's go kill some things. In fact, it might even be worth Yes, we do it this way around. Bomber goes down. Fighter goes down. Fighter goes down. Oh, not quite, but it won't be able to kill my transport now. So that's fine. We can live with a one-strength fighter. And the reason that's important is because I want to be able to um, advance from here. Kill the battleship. Oh, important thing to note in this battle, um, Sturm doesn't use his power. Which is probably for the best because it is a ridiculously strong power. 
You have one fighter left, which is a slight issue. But we'll find ways of dealing with that. Um, in the meantime... Let's get some damage done. Five. You can skip round to there. And then we can build an anti-air there, actually, which will be quite useful. Because that will solve any pro and all problems that actually occur up there. Next, let's destroy this reconnaissance. Right, so that battlefield's now pretty evened up. Um, this one's a little more problematic because... I'm not sure I can just outright destroy that. That's the that's the problematic side of things. I could Yeah, that's how we're gonna have to play this. For now, we're gonna have to sacrifice this secondary mid tank. Which is fine, it's more important to, that he doesn't get it. It also means what I can do is move you to there. I'm not gonna try to do any additional damage, I'm just gonna try and be the harassy person. Right. So we now have the same number of bases. We have the same income now. So let's watch the battle turn. Yeah, thankfully they missiled the other units, but mm, they might just decide to destroy the tank, which wouldn't be a bad thing from my perspective. Down to nine, but we'll live with that. Okay. So we are going to have to do something about that tank up there, but we will probably be okay. Anti-air on anti-air combat's interesting. Also, you're within missile range, so can't do a lot with you. Actually, they don't have any more air units, do they? Yeah. All right, you're being a coward and ignoring my mid-tank. Fine. Yeah, they have no way of building any more air units unless they go up for the um, the airport, which I want. So, right. Let's devise our strategy. First off, the automatic move. Uh, second off, the sensible move. Third off, um, third off, kill you. What well, I think we're going to have to do in the next couple of turns is build some more infantry. Because we just do not have a lot of it. Or don't appear to have a lot of it. Um, yeah, you, ha you hop up there, you build an infantry to come down. You down as well. You die now. What I could do with doing here is... Oh, I'm not done enough to kill you with that. Oh, well, I'll build another tank then. And if you kill, and then I can double up next turn. And it gives us an additional port as well. Right. So he has two subs. Both probably have loads more fuel than me, but I now have the ability to go and get my refueled. So we strike first. Because that's sensible. You fly to there. If it now comes and attacks, we can counter it with... Um, anti-air. And while you're at it, you might as well try and get that building. Meanwhile, I have no clue what to do with this unit anymore, other than possibly just sit it in the corner and hope everybody ignores it for the rest of the time. Yeah, 
there's their port grabbing. That might actually present a small problem in a bit. I mean, there's one evil thing I could try doing, but it involves them going and capturing it first. And besides, it's a trick which I tend to exploit in the next mission, which makes it quite easy if you um, if you allow them to do it. Um, I'll, I'll explain it later, I will, because it's, it's the easy way... Oh, darn it! I should not have let that happen. That was a huge error. Okay. So huge hera huge hera. Yes, huge hera. Huge hera has happened. Let us see what we can make of it now. First off, that. Second of actually the tank should probably go first here because I think we can go around like that and do that. Then do that. Next up, you go to there. Right, now we only have one fighter to worry about. And if we build a cruiser, that probably won't be a problem. Probably. In fact... Trying to work out its movement rate six. Mm, it's technically possible it can do it. I'll add it. All it would have to do is drop him off, actually, and then I'll take it in about three turns. But yeah, we we don't need it. That's the thing. We don't. But we're going to go up and do that anyway. So next turn, we're sacrificing this to go and get that. Which should work out okay for us. Right, that's now ours. This is probably a losing battle, actually, but... But we'll win it next time with the, the infantry that are such that are coming down. And he's now got his power up. Which is many levels of awesome. Next up kill you. Alright, we have the big mid tank. That means we have superiority over this side of the battlefield. Let's get those things going then. Yeah, still no, no clue what to do with you. Um, can build another lander. But I don't think that's the best of ideas at this stage. Um, probably one of the better ideas we could probably do at this stage is some more rockets. From up here, maybe. But for now, we'll end the turn and see what they do. As expected, they go to try and take that again. They actually do take that. That's our building, and you should leave it alone, and that seems silly. That does seem silly. But I suppose it delays us for a turn on the counter. What I really need to do is move it. I was about to say, move the tank or find some way of hurting that missile unit. But in any case, let's have a power. It's probably going to be the longest video of the LP, actually, looking about this. Right. Important first move. You've got to get to there. Second move, you get to go there. And it's important we place you there because if he decided to attack from the airport, we wouldn't be able to take it next turn. Right, you capture. Next up, what can you do? You can actually kill. So go and kill. We approve of killing. But it's okay, he's an evil, possibly robot thing. you up. That should be fine. I'm actually just trying to look at whatever artillery things they've got in reserve. They've got a battleship back there, which we will deal with with the sub once we get round to it. Might even build another sub. I don't know yet. 
Um, since we can, we'll kill that unit off with rockets. And that should then allow me to go something that looks a little like this. Yep, that's white. That's gone. And that means we now have supremacy over this section of the map. Not bad for a day's work. That will go and slowly get itself repaired. We'll go and grab this territory while we can. Uh, you might as well head down. Can't get you repaired at the moment. So it's now a case of just building things here. And now I'm going to build rockets. Which I know it's in a bit terrible position really to build them, but we've got nowhere else that's quite close. Um, build an APC as well, for just for supply issues. And now we're going to be saving up for bombers and bombers. And bombers. Though possibly a fighter to start with. Also, I thought that unit was wounded when it went in there. Maybe I didn't realise it repaired if it was in a um, transport facility as well, actually. Hmm. I wasn't fully aware it would do that. I thought I'd have to wait another turn. Still, we start capturing, we continue capturing. And now that this is fully refueled, we can go on the attack. We can go on the attack with it. All right. So that's now in threat range. Uh, you can go and mostly destroy that. Next bit of mostly destruction is to do that. You then go along and capture. You then... Yeah, I about to say, I have worked that out right. <laughs> there. You are going to stay there and repair. You are going to continue doing what you're doing. You're going to advance there to do additional damage. And random AP siege. And then... I think I might save money here because I do think we probably want to get something out of that Air Force suit shortly. So eight turns down. I keep sacrificing them. It's it's quite bad now actually. Rockets are not supposed to be sacrificed. And also, hey, that's not on. What you just did there, that's not on. Right, that can now move down to there. What I will probably do with the sub very shortly, once it's killed this battleship, is probably dump it there. Um, because, of course, they can't build if there's an enemy unit on it, which is generally multiplayer winning strategy 101. And by mean winning strategy, it's when you are trying to win the game, you block off um, their bases and airports and anything they can build with. Against computers, you strangely do the opposite, but again, I will explain that tactic when we get to the next mission, because it's an evil and it, it, it's a very abusable tactic to win the last mission, especially with the way the AI works. If you don't do it, interestingly, it does make the last mission quite difficult, so I might do it twice, once using that tactic and once not. We'll see. Anyway, that's now ours. Uh, next up, we move you off and kill you. I actually don't mind keeping its transport alive because it will waste time on it mostly. Um, but we do want to kill off the infantry. Next up, you onto there, load. And dump. You down to there, capture. I suppose I did have a use for this then. Uh, oh well. And I can... Ooh, I'm actually firing rockets at this thing, aren't I? Nope, I'm actually firing normal guns. 
Hey, who knew? Machine guns is how you take down airport transports. It's a thing. I didn't quite realise it were that effective against them, actually. Strangely, <laughs> behind you, I've never had the force of attack on them with infantry before. Oh, I could have... Oh, actually, no. It, was out... it would have been out of range. Ah, well. It's happened. Um, I think that's end of the turn now, and this is looking fairly decisive. I have no need to spend a lot of money here anymore, so... So I'll just wait and see what they do. Moving the rockets down, which makes sense. Let's go kill some things. Down three, and that should easily be within kill range, even if he sends the other sub my way. Uh, I can't do a lot about you, but I can build a fighter to distract you. Oh, they built a cruiser. That's evil. Just when I was thinking, no, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I won't. Alright. Um, I can kill that in one shot. It's probably going to have to be mid-tank. Which does need a resupply now, actually. Right. Down you go. Next up. Only 60. 84 is fine. He's down to two, and if there's an infantry nearby, that should be enough if he can get there, which it can't. Alright, so we're going to run the lagoon. Um, that's actually... If I threaten it with lots and lots of units, that should be enough to just... counterbalance anything they might try. Uh, you get to there and supply drop. You down to there and attack. Then I'm going to build another missile unit, I think. Missile rocket. That's the one. Rockets. You down to there. That's captured. And all else is good. End turn. Yeah, I figured you might. But hey, it now means that you're definitely... It's a trade. Their one is definitely going to die now. Also, as expected, fighter on fighter combat. Yeah, that might not have been the most sensible of ideas, but I have sensible ideas occasionally. I don't claim to have them any more than that. Ouch. I might hope. Do I have a repair in stock? Because I could do with one. Yeah, as about to say, I could do. I, I could do with this. Right, power. Right, let's do the obvious thing first. Let's go around and do that. That works out quite nicely for us. Um, you're pretty much stuck there, so let's not do much else with you. Kill that. So the big threat at the end game is now gone, and that's a good trade for a sub, actually. Uh, next up, we want to punch our way through, don't we? So let's go and fire off some things then. Let's first off kill that unit because it's worthless and just in the way. Let's kill off that unit because we can do it relatively cheaply. Ah, darn it. Don't have anything with quite enough movement to go and do that other than this. Still, I've weakened it to about half. And half is okay. Next up, uh, you pretty much destroy that. You pretty much destroy that. Right, no, there's no pretty much about that. You will destroy that. And then it's just debating what else I could do here. I mean, I could send infantry over as sacrificial pawns, but that seems a bit silly. 
even for me, so we'll just do that. Now, where's a safe spot? Can you get some safe spot? Yes, you can. Okay, other than that, I don't have too much um, need to advance much, so we'll move you out of the way. Kill you off with him. And then send the APC to go and pick up the infantry so they can make a neat job of getting the last couple of territories. Actually, I'd do it in two turns anyway, regardless of what I did with that, so let's not do that. Let's instead just go, um, like that for no reason. You know what, I am half tempted to just move that across because, actually, they've got nothing left after this. They've got a mid-tank. I could build another fighter, actually. There's no real need to build another fighter. I'd rather save it for a bomber. Could always build a cruiser or another sub, I suppose. Nah, let's we'll just save it. Save it and do it next turn. Right, we need rocket to hurt an um, anti-air. Fight towards the revenge inning appears to have come to an end. And that sub dies. Not a lot I can do about that, and I'm gonna have to be a bit careful when I move the bomber out, but his income's still rolling in though, so there is something you've ever been cautious. You're actually out of missiles, so let's not attack that with you this turn, let's attack that with you. Mission essentially has been won. It's now just a case of how much time is it going to take me to crack this. Down two. Full infantry might even be able to. Nah, not quite. Alright, move for two of you up. You need to actually move to go and help out. We're going to take ages to get there, capture you. Done it. If I had moved that properly, I could have actually resupplied that unit, but oh well. It's fine. Let's build another mid tank and let's go and build a bomber. Because there are very few things that cannot be solved in this game with a bomber. Though fighters are one of them. And we have no need of those anymore anyway. Right, uh, just move you there to pin you in, I guess, and just have an advanced infantry. One rocket unit to worry about, and one anti-air currently. That, that could change. Darn it. Alright, um... Let's see, I know your attack range is something like that, so let's instead move you to there. Move you to there. Right. I forgot to... Oh, darn it. You know what? Don't worry. We'll, we'll manage something. It won't be what we intended, but we'll manage it. And at some stage, we might even win the game. Who knows? Sillier things have happened. Right. So, what we have to do here is find a position where we can kill this without... Actually, it's already from the tower range. Boom. Bye-bye, cruiser. And next turn, bye-bye other thing. Um, nah, I can't quite do it. I could build a battle copter, I suppose, which is useful enough at this point. Useful and quicker, so... On two pluses. Next thing over here, I guess I'm just going to build another basic tank unit to speed along. And they made absolutely zero attacks that turn. 
they have, though, moves to complete safety from this unit, which is what we would expect them to do. Um, what can we do here? I think what we do this turn... Yeah, the only reason it can't um, attack there is because of where that is currently positioned. So what I'm going to do this turn is I'm going to go... Oh, I'm not going to do that. Hmm. You have me a bit stumped. Just a bit, mind. Because it's very difficult to be stumped with the amount of forces I've actually got av get available against you here. So, right. You move to there and attack. See, we do more damage to the aerial unit than we do to the... Oh, that makes, that makes some sense. I'm sure it does. I don't know how much, but it does. I don't know why I did that, actually. That's a useless thing. As far as it's there now, so, meh. Yeah. Right, you kill that. Tank, I don't think it's got enough power to hour and kill. I don't think this has either, actually, strangely. But it's close enough. And it'll take less damage. In fact, it'll take no damage. Next up, move to there and go kill. So, um, I think I have explained this in the past, but it's not really been relevant in most cases. Pretty much we have to destroy every building they've got there, every unit they've currently got on the board now, or just capture their headquarters, which does mean even if they've got bases open, um, and the funds to build, as long as every unit is wiped out, they still technically lose. So, I'm wondering whether it's worth doing, and I'm gonna figure it's not. Especially when I can just go and kill this. And then next turn I'll be able to go and kill some other things. Right, that'll do. Move you across. Move you across. And we're going to build another bomber. Bombers are fun. Seems a bit of a waste artillery or infantry, but... But meh, you've got nothing else close, I suppose, so... Right, here we go then. So now we don't have to worry about defending. I can just go kill that unit. And my next bomber can go down with the intent of going and killing that sub next turn. You move along. Oh, actually. You do that first. Yeah, I think you've got the movement to do this. Right, next, you kill the anti air, and then we use the mid tank to kill the artillery. If I've messed this up, it's not the end of the world, because I've got that many units left. I have messed this up. Oh well. Um, what I can do instead then is attack you. Go and move you to there. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I can actually attack you with the battle cops for thinking on this, so. Two units done with one infantry is always nice. You go down there and go boom. Right. Start heading across the wall as fast as you can. Fly drop for the battle toxin, which is always a nice thing to do because it means they can stay in the air longer. And also, interestingly, do it to subs as well if you can move it close enough. 
Uh, what else can we do this turn? I think actually the only things relevant to build at this stage are more battle copters. But we'll see what they do. They have 22,000, so they've got plenty of funds. If they can find something to do with them. Nah, I didn't spot him. No. Oh, well. It feels a bit bad, but it's not. It's okay. It's done its job, and it's gonna. The unit that did it is gonna be smashed in the face next turn. Right, next turn. Oop, this turn is all about pinning things off. So now, no more C units for you. In fact, once I do this, no more C units for you whatsoever. Oh, and we now got a power up. Hooray! Uh, might as well put you there, actually. There's not much point in leaving you as you are. Um, let's think about this a little. Yeah, you can definitely move across there and go boom. Yeah, next turn we use our power to um, basically overrun them. Especially now they are kind of restricted to ground units only. that they'll probably end up being stuck on their base which is nice um all right you move across you move there to kill oh long mission this one but it's fine One space forward, not that's going to make much difference in the long run, admittingly, but. You to there. You to there. So that will pincer whatever they try. You across to there, and we debate what we do, and we do not a lot. Build a battleship for no reason. Right, so you have very few units left. That was your best unit, and you've used it wisely, I suppose. Wiping out anti-air. Actually, there's enough money to build another couple, well, nearly a couple of mid-tanks, and didn't, which is okay. Look how expensive fighters. It's, they, it costs them the amount of um, you would spend to buy that much of the unit, strangely. So basically, every time you pay, you have to pay the unit's cost. I think it's... Oh, actually, is it 10% or is it 20% you pay? I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Boom. Bye bye, mid tank. Alright, now this turn we should be pinning in a couple of places here. Oops. Actually, can we get to that rocket? We can't get to the rocket, unfortunately, so this might not be as perfect a lock as I thought it might be. But still. That goes. That is mostly going to be destroyed. Boom. Alright, you can't... No, you can't get into range depressingly. Oh well. Um, so that's actually it for the turn, I think. Move you across, move you down, move you across. You might as well start taking it, although there's not a lot of reason to. Mantle pops it down to there. You move across. No point in building anything, really. Battleship. Across you go. Just for a little bit of randomness, we'll swap those over. Right, last turn then for Stern. So we're going to beat this in 18 turns, which is definitely the longest mission we've had. I've been about 45 minutes of this recording, actually. And yeah, because they fired with a rocket, they have no opportunity to build anything. And all that's going to do for them this turn is... Oh, actually, no. 
Ah, oh, it's fine. I've got a weakened uh, mid tank that can kill it. Yeah, I was about to say you'd be out of range. Right. So that kills that. And then move my battle culture to go and swap. This won't be the last turn, actually. Actually, we're going to talk about it. I've got loads of units. How can this not? That's our not, because I can't do enough damage to his APC on the headquarters. The best defended units in the game that can't attack. Hooray. Um, well, that secures that, actually. And then if... Nope, there's going to be another turn. They can't do anything. I can't build anything. It's about as perfect a victory as you would like, I suppose, although no, it's not going to be a perfect victory. But your forces consist of one armored personnel carrier. Yeah, and buying the battleship was absolutely worthless, but I won't. Yep, you can do nothing! And just watch as I sweep up the victory. There we go. Was that it? Looks like it's finally... Andy. Hey, it's Grid. What's on the sea? No time for that now, Junior. They found the snake's hiding place. Huh? Then this isn't... That's just the tip of the old boy's tail. Hurry, Sonya's in danger. And the victory is ours. So next time, oh, A rank. Uh, lost a couple too many units, apparently. Next time, the final battle. So until then, then.